All right. So, hola, bienvenidos a todos. Welcome, everybody, to our third beginner Spanish class. And today we have teacher Eda with us. <laughs> And uh, she's going to help us. You can see her camera here. She's going to help us with our pronunciation of a lot of um, basic things so that we can learn how to describe ourselves and also our families in Spanish. So when you meet a new person, you'll be able to tell them what your family's like and what you are like. You can describe yourself. So we'll learn a lot of adjectives today. Um, do you guys remember how to count in Spanish from last time? Yes. Uno? No. <laughs> Uno, right? Okay. Cuatro? Cuatro? Cuatro is four. That's it. Maybe we can count together. Everyone can count together, okay? Are you guys ready? Edda, you can help us. Unmute your microphone. You can help us. <laughs> okay, so first. The first is Uno, Uno right? Yes. Yeah, you got that one right. Eddie, your microphone's still muted. Do you want to help us to count? Yeah, there's just a lot of uh, noise. Don't worry, don't worry. No, everyone can count at the same time. Okay, no say it all together. Uno. 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 Dos. 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 Mustafa, you too. Tres. 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 Good. Cuatro. 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 Good. Cinco. Cinco? I was going to say in Italian. Cinco. 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 Seis. 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 Siete. 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 Ocho. 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 Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Nueve. Ajá. Y diez is ten. Yes. 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 Okay. Good job, guys. So you can use those numbers. You can try to remember them a little bit um, because we're going to be asking you how many brothers and sisters you have. Um, yeah, you can describe your family, how many members of your family maybe live with you. It would be cool. So um, uh, maybe, Aka, do you remember how to say hello? Hola. Uh, Right, perfect. And um, Mustafa, do you remember how to say goodbye? Was <laughs> oh, this one hard? Um, no, no. It's, I just, I just forgot it. Um, I just forgot. I don't know how to say goodbye. I know hola. I, hola is good. Yeah. And how, do you remember how to say how are you? Um. Um. It's, Oh, okay. So goodbye, adios. Uh huh. Adios, right? Adios. Yeah. See, I, I can remember. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember some. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. So, um, so we have a lot of different members of our family. Our immediate family is, um, just like the people who live with us in our house. Usually, like our our children, our husband or wife. And then also our parents and brothers and sisters. These are all part of our immediate family. And then everyone else is kind of our extended family. So that's our, our uncles, aunts, cousins. Um, I guess in-laws also are extended family. I don't know. <laughs> so um, Adam, if you can help us here to pronounce some of these members of the family, OK? Okay, sorry in advance if I have a lot of background noise because George is over here. Make don't noise. worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it doesn't sound um, like you have noise. Not right now because he stopped this in the van and we the microphone. Oh, okay. I have an idea. Wait, wait. Maybe everyone can say them. Like you can say the word and everyone can say it after you at the same time. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so esposo o esposa. Esposo or esposa? Uh huh. Yeah. You guys can all say it. It's okay. Go ahead, Mustafa and Aka. This, uh, um, I don't know. I I am so fun with my connection today. Um, can I cannot see? I just listen. I can just hear you. Can you repeat it again? Esposo oh, okay. 
or esposa? Esposa. Esposo. Esposa. Esposa. Esposo. Esposa. And what does it Very mean? Very good. What do they mean? Esposo is husband and esposa is wife. Ah. Yeah, okay. husband and wife, esposo or esposa. So I can ask you, maybe Mustafa, tienes una esposa? Do you have a wife? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Okay, let's ask Ada, tienes un esposo? Sí, yes. Okay. Sí. <laughs> no, it's there helping her too. Aka, do you, uh, uh, tienes una esposa? How can I say no in Spanish? It's the same. Yeah, that one's super easy. So, C is yes, and then okay. no is just no. It's the oh, same. Okay, no. no. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Very good. So, we'll remember that. C and no. Okay. Yeah. Um, Adam, maybe you can say the next ones for us. Son and daughter. Okay. Son is hijo and daughter is hija. Okay, do you guys, all three of you can say it at the same time if you like. Aka, Mustafa, and Jamie. Hijo, hija. Good. Hijo, hija. Uh -huh. Hijo and hija. Perfect, yeah. Hijo, hija. Great, okay. Uh, Mustafa, ¿tienes una, un hijo? Um, yeah. Uh, how can I say? Sí, si, sí. Si? Uh, sí. 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 Okay, good. Okay, Aka, ¿tienes una hija? Uh, which means uh, I have a daughter or a son. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, no. Hija is daughter, yeah. Okay, good. Nice job, guys. Very nice. You guys already understand Spanish. Woo! <laughs> Okay, um, so we have our parents too, our Are father and mother. Jamie? Oh, sorry, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, ¿tienes un hijo? Sí. Um, uh, uno. Okay, un hijo. Muy bien. <laughs> okay, father and mother. Maybe you can tell us these, Ada, too. Okay, father. Um, is padre, um, and then dad is like papa, and then mother is madre, and mom is mama. Okay, so papa and mama, these are like the informal ones. Can you guys say it all together too? Padre and madre? Padre, padre and madre. madre. Good. Ma Go ahead, Aka. Padre, madre. Yeah, yeah, and this R sound is a little bit hard. It's like padre. Padre. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Madre. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Yeah, it's kind of like this, like dre. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so, um, uh, tienes un padre, Mustafa? <laughs> Um, you mean, do you have? Uh -huh. Tienes un padre? Do you have a father? Tienes un padre? Yeah. Uh, sí. Sorry. Sí. 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 Okay. Sí. <laughs> okay. Acá, ¿tienes una madre? And no, now uh, my parents passed away. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so yeah, good job, guys. All right, padre and madre. Okay, the next two are brother and sister. These are, are pretty similar. Um, Eda, can you say these two for us, too? Yes, hermano Nani. y hermana. Nani. All right. Jamie hermano. Mustafa. Yep, go ahead. Hermana. Okay, good. Jamie and Aka, you guys can go if you like. Yeah, oh, sorry, I lost which part. Oh, sorry, it's hermana. Hermano, hermana. Perfect, yeah. Hermano, hermana. Woohoo, good. Yeah, awesome. 
I see Ada saying, good job. <laughs> okay, Ada, let's say aunt and uncle next. Okay, it's Tio and Tia. <clears throat> All right, guys, go ahead. Tio, Tio Tia. and Tia. Mm -hmm. Tio and Tia. Yeah. Tio, Tia. Perfect. Yeah, that one's, it doesn't have any strange pronunciation. That one's pretty, <laughs> pretty easy. Great job, guys. Okay, the next one, cousin. A girl cousin or a boy cousin, they have different, slightly different words. How did you want to say them? Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, primo, primo, and prima. Primo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's saying that too. And prima. Uh huh, good. Primo and prima. Perfect. Um, I'd, sorry, go ahead, Kay. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Primo, prima. And what is the difference between them? Well, all of the, the words that end with O in Spanish mm -hmm. are masculine. That means it's like a boy. Oh. And with A? And with A, it's always feminine. And so they have a different article, like you'll see L and then La. So depending on whether the word is like masculine or feminine, you use L for the masculine one and then La for the feminine one. So if you say, um, the, if you want to say the male cousin, you say El Primo. But you want to say the female cousin, you say la prima. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, it's just like tio and tia. Like tio is uncle and tia is aunt. And hermano with an O is brother. And then hermana, the girl, it always ends with an A. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the next one's a little bit more complicated. Nephew and niece. Ada, can you say those two? Sobrino and sobrina. Okay, go ahead, guys. Sobrino, sobrina. Sobrino, sobrina. Mm -hmm. And it's like sobrina. Sobrina. Good, good. Mustafa, are you still there? Do you want to sobrina. Try it? So, oh, so, so, sobrina and sobrino. Okay, good, good. Okay. Aka, can you try this one too? Uh, sobrino, sobrina. All right, nice. ¿Y tienes una sobrina? Do you have a niece? And who are, who are you asking? Uh, <laughs> anyone, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Mustafa, do you have a niece? ¿Tienes una sobrina? Yes. Oh, okay. sí. Oh, sí, okay. <laughs> Jamie, tienes una, so, un, una sobrina? Well, just ask the same one. Sí, mucho. Muchas. You have muchas mm -hmm. sobrinas. Oh, Do you have muchas. a lot? Yes. A lot of nieces. <laughs> okay, what about you, Aka? ¿Tienes una sobrina, a niece? Sí. Sí, muy bien. Okay. Okay, and then we have our in-laws, too. Um, do you guys know what this means in English? Like father-in-law, brother-in-law? My favorite sister-in-law. Yes. Musafa, you know this one, too? Yes. The in-laws? Okay. So we can learn how to say, like, um, these. And you can see that each one is, like, exactly the same. Well, no. Son and daughter-in-law is different. <laughs> but uh, mother-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they're all like, they use the same words, but they just end with either an O or an A for the for the male or the female. Okay, I, so just correct me if I am wrong. I just want to check my, my information. So yeah. the father of my, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, the father of my wife is my father-in-law and the mother of my wife is my mother-in-law? Exactly, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then for like the father of your wife, if he was talking about you, then you would be his son-in-law. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good question though, yeah. And I see Edda stepped away for a minute, so I'll help you guys with these two words. They're suegro and suegra. Can you say suegro those two? Suegro and mm -hmm. suegra. Nice. 
Okay, Jamie and Aka. Go ahead. Sle segro and segra. It's like sway. sway. Suegro. Suegro. Yeah. Suegra. Perfect. Do you want to try it too, Aka? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Suegra. Good. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Good job, guys. Okay, and Edda, maybe you can help us with son-in-law and daughter-in-law. Yerno and nuera. Nuera. Yerno and nuera. Okay. Can you guys say those two? Yerno and nuera. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Jamie, are you there? You can try. Yeah, it. I haven't. I haven't said yeah. these before. I have. I haven't even heard them before. Okay. Um, Yerno, um, nuera, nuera, nuera. Good. Nuera. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. And Aka, can you try too? Yerno, Yerno. nuera. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent job. Your Spanish, Aka. <laughs> All right. And then we just have two more: brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Edda. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just cutting some cheese. Um, <laughs> cuñado and cuñada. The enye is there, so if you want to explain that. Yeah, the enye makes a nya sound, so cun it's not cunado, it's cuñado. Like an ny, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you guys say those? Cuñado, cuñada? Cuñado, cuñada. Mm -hmm. Good job. Cuñado, cuñada, cuñada, cuñado, cuñada. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Good job. And Jamie? Cuñado, cuñada. Very good. And because Edda is cutting the cheese, I wanted to share with you a joke in English because you can see her laughing here. Because there is um, a joke in English, like a, a an idiomatic expression for um, if you fart, you it says you cut the cheese. Have you guys heard this expression before, Mustafa or Aka? No. No. <laughs> so that's a funny expression. You can hear they're like laughing. It's, it's like. It, it, oh, Mustafa says, what does it mean? Mustafa means that you fart. Do you know what that means? Oh. oh. Yes, gas. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> when you have gas in your stomach and it comes out. I mean, I didn't know what cut the cheese means. So cut the cheese is the same as the fart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I'm too <laughs> so so it's just like an idiomatic expression, but it's really a comical one. It's really funny. So if you I mean, want how, to what's laugh, the relation? What's the relation, teacher? I mean, how come like cutting the cheese? Maybe because I some mean, cheese smells bad. Um, maybe. <laughs> there's there's no explanation. I don't know. <laughs> Fabio oh came too. Hey, Fabio. Bienvenido. Hi, I'm Shell. ¿Cómo estás? Gracias. Estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Do you speak a lot of Spanish, Fabio? Excuse me, can you say again? Do you speak a lot of Spanish? ¿Hablas a little mucho bit, español? Just a little bit. Oh, ok. Poquito, poquito. poquito Yo hablo poquito. un poquito de español. Ah, muy bien. Ok. So, Edda, you have competition. <laughs> Edda is no, our teacher no today. No, but... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. All right, so um, so you have um all of those members of your family in Spanish there, and so um, if you want to say like you want to describe your family to someone, you can say these like example sentences like I have two brothers and three sisters. You can see how that is written. Um, maybe Ada, you can read like I have, you have, and he or she has. Maybe you can read those two. I mean, three <laughs> expressions. <laughs> okay, um, I have is yo tengo, you have, 
tú tienes, or the formal version is usted tiene, um, he has is él tiene, she has is ella tiene. All right, great. So you can see that here in this um, example sentence, it says tengo. So that means I have. <clears throat> um, maybe, Mustafa, would you like to read our example sentence, the first one? Um, Do you want me to okay. read it first? Yes, yes, please, Jen. <laughs> She I saved you. Mom. She saved you. <laughs> Go tengo, ahead, Jimmy. Tengo dos hombre, uh, hermanos y tres hermanas. Hermanas. Very good. Great job. Okay, do you guys understand those words now that we've kind of practiced them? Remember our, our numbers are numeros dos and tres, two and three. And then the letter Y. Uh, it means and in Spanish. It's pronounced like E. Okay. Um, but if you want to say like that you don't have um, like one of these members of the family, like if you want to say I don't have a wife or I don't have a daughter, then you can say no tengo. Um, uh, Aka, maybe you, you can read this, ex uh, this example sentence here for us yeah. about brothers. Uh, you, the sentence you highlighted mm -hmm. here, yeah. Sorry, yo no tengo hermanos. Perfect, excellent pronunciation. Nice, Spanish H is silent like French, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Italian is also like that, like the H is always silent. Not, not language, they are all Latin dialect language, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're all Latin languages. That's true. Okay, so I would like you guys to describe your families. Uh, you can say how many brothers and sisters you have, if you like, or you can say that you don't have brothers and sisters. Adam, maybe you can start. Okay. Um. George. Yo tengo <laughs> un hermano. Una mano. Y una hermana. Una mano. Okay, so this is an excellent example sentence. Fabio, do you want to tell us how many brothers and sisters you have? Yo tengo un hermano. Okay, excelente. <laughs> Jamie? Gracias, gracias. <laughs> De nada. Jamie, how many brothers and sisters do you have? ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Um, I um, tengo dos hombres. Hermanos? Hermanos, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Y um, dos hermanas. Okay, dos hermanos y dos hermanas. Excellent. Very good. I don't have like an upside down question mark, so I'll just put a normal one there. <laughs> ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Okay, Mustafa, ¿cuántos hermanos tienes? Okay, tengo diez hermanos y diez hermanas. ¿En serio? ¿Really? <laughs> no, just kidding. It's competition formation. I cannot say it. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I was like, you have a really big family. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just Una familia uh, muy grande. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. Uno, oh no. okay. Yeah, oh no. Hermanos uh, uh, y oh no, hermanos. Okay, okay. Un hermano y una hermana. Very good. Okay, Aka, what about you? ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Tengo two y what what I found confused. Okay. Like um did you want to say two? Dos? Ah sorry. Tengo uh twos. What's what's twos? the what's the number you wanted to say? Two. Oh two two, two is dos. Dos, ah sorry. Tengo dos mm -hmm. hermanos. Y tres hermanas. Oh, wow, okay. 
Es verdad? <laughs> Is it true? I don't know. What does this sentence mean? Oh, it means hermanos. I hermanos are remember those are brothers and hermanas are sisters. Ah, I so see. So how many brothers and sisters do you have? Tengo dos uh, eh, tengo dos uh, hermanas. Dos hermanas, okay. Perfecto. Hermanas. Yeah, very good. Y yo tengo un hermano y una hermana, too. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Um, very good, guys. So um, so that's how you can kind of like describe your family. You can, um, you can replace hermano or hermana with like any of the people like your aunt, your uncle, your cousins, and, and you can describe your family that way. Um, and you can also use some adjectives to describe what they look like and what their personality is like here. Um, maybe, Ada, can you read? Uh, how many should we read, Ada? What do you think of these adjectives? I could do a couple at a time. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll all repeat them together after you say them. Okay? Okay. Okay. So the, <laughs> the first one um, is that short is what? like pequeño or pequeña or chaparra or chaparro. Um, I don't know. I think that's like a Mexican word, but that's what everyone here says, like where I live in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You all say chaparro. But I don't know. Yeah, this is Mexican. Mm -hmm. um, and then tall is alto or alta. And then skinny is delgado or delgada. And full figured is gordito or gordita. <laughs> okay. So gordo is like the word for fat. And so to say like gordito or gordita, that means that you're not like skinny, but you have like a fuller figure, like it says here. Okay, good job. <laughs> um, all right, so let's try to repeat those, guys. Pequeño, alto. Everyone can do it. Pequeño, alto. Pequeño, oh, yeah. uh -huh. alto. Chaparro. Chaparro. Yeah. <laughs> gordito. That's... Good, guys. Yo soy yeah. un poquito gordito. <laughs> <laughs> Yo también, no te preocupas. <laughs> um, Aka, do you want to try them too? Pequeño, alto, delgado, gordito. Pequeño, alto, eh, where is that? Delgado. Delgado, gordillo. Gordito. Eh, gordito. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, gordito. <laughs> Jamie, did you try them too? Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, I just <laughs> sorry. Gordito. <laughs> gordito, yeah, exactly. It's like a nicer way of saying gordo. Like, because it's, it's like saying like a little bit fat instead of saying, oh, that person's fat. You say, oh, they're just a little bit fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mom, I mean, Jamie, do you want to try pequeño, alto, delgado, and gordito? Okay. Um. Poquito. Pequeño. Pequeño. Mm -hmm. uh, alto. Brava, delgado. Mm -hmm. Gordito. Perfect. We did really well with that gordito one. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right. And you can describe what color hair they have too um, with the different colors. So, Etta, can you say these three maybe? Are you still cutting the cheese? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Later. Yeah. Not that you're oh, okay. Este blonde is um and hair is pelo. Um so blonde hair is pelo rubio, brown hair is pelo castaño, black hair is pelo negro. Thank you. Okay. Do you guys want to try those three? What are you Maybe you can use it in a sentence like I have this kind of hair. Yo tengo. Yo tengo pelo castaño. Ah, okay, muy bien. Jamie, ¿qué pelo tienes? What, what kind of hair do you have? <laughs> um, I was going to see if you could say the middle one again because I couldn't. Castaño. Hear. Castaño. Castaño. 
Okay. Um, I have. Yo tengo. Um, yo tengo. Um, pelo castaño. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Excelente. Mustafa, ¿qué pelo tienes tú? Yo tengo pelo castaño. Ah, ok. Ok, muy bien. I mean, I mean, I didn't understand you. I mean, what does it mean, pelo castaño? It means brown oh. hair. Sorry, here. Um, sorry, sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Brown hair. Bra brown hair. Okay. okay. Is, do you have brown hair or black hair, or blonde hair? I mean, both. <laughs> blonde hair. <laughs> pelo rubio. I mean, no. I have pelo. Uh, just, just move the, move the. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Pelo negro. Okay. Yo tengo pelo negro. You could say. Excellent, yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay, Aka, do you want to tell us qué pelo tienes? What kind of hair do you have? You, uh, you tengo pelo negro. Okay, excelente. You guys are making your own sentences. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do our eyes now. We can talk about what color eyes we have. Um, Ella, can you pronounce them for us? Okay. Okay. What color is your hair? Boca la coca. La coca? What? I don't know what you're saying. Your hair is castaño. Can you say castaño? Castaño. Good job. Oh, muy bien. Okay, so, este, ojos are eyes. So, green eyes, ojos verdes, blue eyes, ojos azules, brown eyes, are ojos cafeses. Cafes? Cafes. <laughs> okay. Ojos cafes, like coffee eyes. <laughs> okay, Fabio, ¿qué ojos tienes? ¿Qué color? Yo tengo ojos cafes. Okay, Jamie? Ojos cafes. Oh, okay. Muy bien. Mustafa, ¿qué, qué ojos tienes? Ojos verdes. Okay, you can say, tengo ojos verdes to make a whole you, sentence. You, you tengo ojos verdes, but I, I am lying. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. You can lie because your, your, your camera's not on. No one will know. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, but um, I, I want to know, like, what does it mean? Like, what's my name? Oh, Hazel. I mean, Azul. you know. It's... Azul is blue. No, no, in English, in, this, in the chat box. Just look in the chat box. Oh, Hazel. Hazel. How do you say that in Spanish, you mean? Yeah. I don't know. Because, like, usually you would say green. Ada, do you know how to say Hazel? I would just say ojos cafe, like brown. Oh. <laughs> 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 not much like color. Or you could say, like, ojos medio verdes, medio cafe. <laughs> Yeah, you could say like half green and half brown, but they don't have like, I don't think they have a specific word, but we could search later, maybe on Google, but I've never heard uh, anyone English, say like they English, have hazel and eyes. You have it in English, right? Hazel, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jamie, tell us, ¿qué ojos tienes tú? You already said, right? Ojos cafés? Sí, yes. Sí, okay. I, I did. Sorry. Okay. Aka, what about you? ¿Qué ojos tienes? Ojos cafés. Ah, muy bien. Yo tengo ojos azules. Ojos azules. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I said I have blue eyes, so I'm the, I'm the weird one <laughs> today. <laughs> no one else does. Okay, let's try the, the next one. These, this is the word for beautiful or handsome. Adam, maybe you can say those for us too. Sorry. Sorry. The babies are coming. Little... It's, it's okay. Here. Have some cheese. Have some cheese. <laughs> okay, so beautiful is hermoso or hermosa. You can like change the O. Yeah. Um, whether it's feminine or masculine. and Or guapo, like for beautiful, handsome. Hermosa, hermoso, guapo, guapa. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> do we can say these all together maybe because they're not too hard. Hermoso. Hermoso. Hermoso, good. Hermoso. Hermoso, hermoso. Hermoso, muy bien. Jamie, acá, go ahead. Hermoso. Hermoso. Good. Michelle, hermosa. No. <laughs> Aka, are you there? Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Can you say it too? Hermoso? Hermoso. Hermoso. Good. And then guapo. 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 So this, yeah, this one's different. This means like, yeah. Guapo loco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Jamie, do you want to say that one too? And Mustafa, guapo? Guapo. Guapo. Okay. Muy bien. Okay. So you guys can also maybe. Oh. Are you guys okay? Okay. So maybe everyone can describe what their best friend looks like. Jamie, you left the fridge open. <laughs> okay. So you can say mi amica or mi amico. S. And then you can say the um, the adjectives that describe them. So, mi amiga, I'm going to say, es pequeña, con pelo rubio, delgada, con ojos azules. And so, um, you guys can choose the, the adjectives that describe your best friend. So, Fabio, maybe you can go first. You can say your amigo or your amiga es, and you can describe them. Mi amigo es alto, mm -hmm. delgado, mm -hmm. tiene pelo negro, tiene ojos uh, cafés. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And you could say he's hermoso, but that would be weird. <laughs> yeah, very weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, great description though. Very good, great job. Excelente. Yeah. Jamie, maybe you can describe your best friend. You can say, mi amiga es, and you can describe like if she's tall or short. Um, okay. Mi amiga es um, delgado. Delgada? Mm -hmm. Del so it's since, oh, it's, yes. since it's a girl, all of these, you'll just put an A at the end instead of the O. Okay. Um, yeah. Del um, delgado. Um, you don't have gray for hair. Oh, you can say gris. Gris. Pelo gris. Pelo gris. Uh, and then um, ojo cafes. And, okay. Um, e. Um, hermanas. Right. E, what did you want to say at the end? And sisters? Beautiful. Um, oh, hermosa. Or, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That's okay. Hermosa. Yeah, so she's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Good description. Great job. And thanks for telling us about gray hair, too. We didn't include that one. Okay, Mustafa, tell us, what is your best friend like? First of all, what's like? a, uh, how, can I, how, can I, how can I say friend in Spanish? Amigo, can you see it? I, oh, oh, okay. So you can't see the screen. Amigo, yeah, I can see it. Oh, okay, okay, it's here. Sorry. Yeah, amigo, bigger. amigo, right? Amigo. Amigo. Mm -hmm. Amigo, amigo. Okay. So uh, you tengo, right? You tengo. Well, you can say mi amigo es, or yo tengo un amigo. Yo, yo tengo. Amigo, amigo. Pequeño. Mm -hmm. I know I'm bad. But Queen Pequino, um, um, Pilo Castano, mm -hmm. um, Ojos Cafes, mm -hmm. Cafes, um, yeah, Cafes, Emoso. Oh, okay, uh, Amigo. Muy bien, muy bien. Good description. Muy bien. I'm the worst. Yeah, I am the worst. 
This is no, it's me. good. It's good. I'm trying to say this one one more time. Pequeño. It's like this one is Pequeño. like the letter K. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Pequeño. Okay. Aka, it's your turn. What is your best friend? What do they look like? Mi amigo es Puerquino. Gordito means fat. Like a little bit fat. Gordito. Castano, Castan, Castano, or just Azures, a guapo. Ah, muy bien. Yeah, Papa is woman. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all the ones that end with an A, that it's, it's always a woman or a girl. Great job, Aka. Very nice. Good work. And yeah, this one is a little bit hard. It's like pequeño. Pequeño. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Nice job. Okay, and we also have like a few examples of um, adjectives to describe a person's personality. So instead of saying, what does he look like? We would say, what is he like? Like, what is his personality like? Um, and Adam, maybe we can just say these really quickly, not to spend too much time, but maybe we can just go through them kind of quickly. Um, nice is bueno, mean is like malo, it, it's also like good or bad. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, did I not put one for that? That's Funny. okay. <laughs> Funny is chistoso. Oh, okay. I put divertido. Chistoso That's like, is good. like fun. Um, boring, aburrido. Calm, calmado. Oh, calmado. I was thinking calmo. Can you say calmo or calmado? No, calmado. I think calmado is... Oh, sorry. Yeah, calmo is Italian. Okay, chistoso, aburrido, calmado. Maybe we can say these five all together, guys. Bueno, malo. Bueno, malo. Bueno, malo. Uh -huh. Bueno, malo. Good, good, guys. Yeah. Okay, and then the next three, chistoso, aburrido, calmado. Chistoso, aburrido, calmado. Perfect. Go ahead, guys, don't be shy. Chistoso, <laughs> aburrido, calmado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Chistoso, aburrido, calmado. Good. Jamie, go ahead. Um, chismoso? Chistoso? Ch chistoso. I'm used to chismoso. That means like someone who likes to gossip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone I know. who likes to gossip is chismoso, but we're talking about someone who's funny. <laughs> so they're chistoso. <laughs> chistoso. Um, uh, ab aburrido? Really aburrido. Like you're saying aburrido. Aburrido. Oh, aburrido. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then comando, calmado, comando. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's good. Calmado. Good job. Excellent. Okay, the next two or three or four, Etta. <laughs> <laughs> Inteligente, tonto is like smart, and then tonto is like dumb or silly. Um, kind is amable. Uh, creative it, or like artistic is artístico. Um, Generous um, is generoso. Stingy is like scodo or tacaño. All right, great job. Okay, thank you for your pronunciation Mommy, for us, Ada. Good job. So that the G, you can hear you guys that it has like an H sound, like inteligente. So maybe Jamie, you can say these for us. I hear it. Noah's with you, so he can help you. Yeah. Maybe too. <laughs> yeah. Inteligente, tonto. In, uh, in inteligente. Tonto. Tonto. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amable. Amable. Artístico. 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 Um, generoso. Uh, generoso. 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 Um, codo. And, codo. Mm -hmm. and tacaño is the last one. Uh, tacaño. Good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good job, Noah. Yeah. 
Fabio, go ahead. Do you want to say these two? Yes. Um, inteligente, tonto, amable, artístico, generoso, codo, tacaño. Perfecto. Muy bien. Excelente. You have a good accent. Yeah. yeah gracias. De nada. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mustafa, it's your turn. We'll help you. Don't worry. Okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, inteligente, tonto, ama amable, artístico, um, oh, generoso, 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 mm -hmm. codo, tacano. Tacano. Yeah, how's that? Tacano. Enye, like, nya. Yeah, tacano. good job. Good, nice. Okay. And Aka, you can try them too. Inteligente, tonto, amable, 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 aristico, eh, generoso, coto, tacano. Woohoo! Great job! Yeah, very good. And the N in that last one is like tacano. Tacano. Yeah, very nice. Great job. All right, guys, so I would like you to describe your... Uh, What's happening? <laughs> I don't know who to describe. You can choose someone and describe them. I mean, my friend. He's yeah. Malo. <gasps> He's not a good friend. Okay, Aurelio. He's Malo. Oh. Tonto. And, uh, oh, sorry. And Tacano. Artistico. Artistico, okay. Tacano. So and he's tacano. good and bad at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay, good description. Nice job. Okay, Jamie, you can choose someone and describe them. You can say my amiga or my your my daughter or <laughs> um mi amiga. Mi is, amiga. Um, bueno. Uh, bueno. Uh, uh, in, in, uh, inteligente. Inteligente. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, um, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and generoso. Generoso. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Very nice. Good description. Okay, um, Aka, what is, can you choose a person maybe, maybe one of your friends or family members and describe them? Okay, my amigo, eh, bueno, chietoso, inteligente, am, 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 amable. Mm -hmm. Uh, generoso. Great, very good. Yeah, nice job. Fabio, did you describe anybody yet? Si. I can't remember. Si, okay. You already went. Mi okay, okay. Uh, mi esposa es muy amable. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Y is she like funny or calm or generous or stingy? <laughs> You have to es, be nice, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> es muy generosa. Ah, okay. Muy lindo. Muy bien. That's a nice description. Great job, guys. Very, very good. All right, so we're going to skip down to a dialogue that we have so that, um, that we can kind of see how this would be if you had a conversation with someone, like when you're introducing yourself and maybe they ask about your family. Um, maybe, Ada, would you like to read this first with Aka? Okay. Am I okay, Jose and, or Maria? Um, maybe you can be Maria and he can be Jose. Is that okay? Okay, okay so Aka, you can start whenever you're ready. <laughs> and we can help you if there are any words that are unfamiliar, okay? Okay. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. Me llamo María. ¿Tú cómo te llamas? Me amo José. 
Mucho gusto. ¿Tienes familia aquí? Sí, tengo dos. Uh, 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 Amirius y mi patrón. Uh -huh. qué, qué lindo. Yo solo tengo un hermano aquí. ¿Cómo es tu hermano? Mano? Él es alto y delgado. Es muy divertido también. Mis hermanas también son divertidas, pero mi marto es muy calma. Muy calma. Uh -huh. Saludos a la familia. Adiós. Adiós. Great job. Very good. And I like how you pronounce that word muy. Great job. That means very in Spanish. Muy. She's very calm. Okay, guys. Um, maybe Fabio, would you like to read it next with Jamie? Yes. Okay, maybe you can be Jose and then Jamie can be Maria. Okay. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Mi, Bien, gracias. Me llama uh, Maria. Maria. Uh, ¿Tú cómo te llama? Me llamo José. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. ¿Tienes <laughs> familia aquí? Sí, tengo dos hermanas y mi padre. Familia Qué lindo. Aquí. Yo tengo solo un hermano aquí. ¿Cómo es tu hermano? Él es alto y um, delgado. Delgado es muy uh, divertido. Uh, divertido también. Mm -hmm. Okay, get you. <laughs> Mis hermanas también son divertidas, pero mi madre es muy calma. Um, Uh, um, at the bottom, saludo? Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Say saludos? Sa saludos. Uh, uh, a la familia. Adios. Adios, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good. <laughs> All right, Mustafa, maybe you can read it with me, okay? Okay. Sound perfect. Okay, you're Jose. I am Jose or Maria? You're Jose. Okay. Okay, Maria. Um, hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Me llamo Maria. ¿Tú cómo te llamas? Me llamo Jose. Ah, mucho gusto. ¿Tienes familia aquí? Sí, tengo dos hermanas y mi padre. Qué lindo. Yo solo tengo un hermano aquí. ¿Cómo es tu hermano? Él es alto y delgado. Es muy divertido también. Mis hermanas también son divertidas, pero mi madre es muy calmada. Ah, ok. Saludos a la familia. Adiós. Adiós. <laughs> yeah, uh, very nice. Really? I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how... how How did I say it? What I did? Yeah, your pronunciation anyway. was good. Nice job. Thank you. Very good. All right, so um, I think we're going to have to maybe end the class kind of soon because I have to go and teach another class in a couple of minutes. But um, maybe I can give you guys, um, I can send you maybe a copy of what we practiced today so that you can practice it on your own. Is that okay? It's perfect. Yes, sounds yes. good. Okay. Um, Fabio, I don't know if I have your email address, but maybe you can send it to me in the chat box, and I'll, I'll send everybody this file, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Well, thanks to you guys for coming. Hold on, I'll stop sharing the screen. Um, so okay. Edda and Noah are going to say bye to us, too. Oh. Say bye. Yeah? I want that work. So he will come back and then he okay, will. Okay, tell her thank you for the class. Thank you for the class.
Pose at work and then you can come Pose out. Pose at work? Do the class for that. Pose at work. Hi, George. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's like, who is that? Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, Sadie. Adios, Thank Noah. You. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Look at bye. <laughs> Bye. Adios. 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 <laughs> okay, bye, Aka. Bye, Aka. Fabio and Mustafa. Bye. Adios, teacher. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. Adios. Gracias. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye. 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 bye.